Elliot's Museum. Word problems and large numbers could be difficult in math, but Elliot knew that all she needed was practice and a little inspiration. Elliot loved going to museums more than anything. Museums were full of treasures displayed for anyone and everyone to enjoy. She dreamed about what it would be like to open a museum with all her favorite things. I'm going to do it, she thought, and I can practice my math along the way. Elliot learned that she can use models to help her sort out information in word problems and figure out how to solve them. Before she set out to gather treasures for her museum, she reviewed a modeling strategy called a tape diagram. To use a tape diagram, you first draw a long piece of tape. In an addition problem like 100 plus 200, each number you are adding together will go inside the piece of tape. Since 200 is bigger than 100, you can split up the tape so that the portion with 200 is longer. The answer to an addition problem is called the total or sum. You can make a bracket and use a question mark to show that you want to find the sum of the two numbers added together. Which part of the tape diagram represents the sum? In a subtraction problem, the answer is called the difference. Elliot learned that when a word problem asks for the difference between two numbers, or asks questions like, how many are remaining, it's a clue that it is a subtraction problem. You can use a tape diagram for subtraction problems, like 150 minus 50. In this problem, you already know that the total is 150. You also know that 50 is a part of the total. If you add 50 and the unknown number together, the total will be 150. To set up your subtraction tape diagram, write the number that is the total in the bracket. The number or numbers that are part of the total go inside the tape. The unknown number goes inside the tape too. Which tape diagram can help you solve 200 minus 100? Which tape diagram can help you solve 200 minus 100? Which tape diagram can help you solve 200 minus 100? Which tape diagram can help you solve 200 minus 100? Elliot set out to gather all of the treasures she wanted to include in her museum exhibits. First, she traveled to her favorite beach and found 112 seashells. She chose 45 of the coolest shells to display in her museum and left the rest behind. What diagram could you use to find how many seashells are remaining? What diagram could you use to find how many seashells are remaining? What diagram could you use to find how many seashells are remaining? Next, Elliot went to the flea market where there were always hundreds and hundreds of buttons in every color and size you could imagine. This trip, she bought 165 blue buttons and 133 red buttons. 
What diagram could you use to find how many more blue buttons there are than red buttons? What diagram could you use to find how many more blue buttons there are than red buttons? Next, she sorted through her collection of trading cards with fantastic creatures, epic heroes, and legendary athletes. She made three stacks. Two of the stacks had 100 cards each. The other stack had 150. Which tape diagram could you use to help solve the problem? Which tape diagram could you use to help solve the problem? For her most precious exhibit, she decided to create a gallery of all her favorite photos. She found 102 color photos, and her grandpa gave her 160 black and white photos to use in her museum. Which diagram could you use to find how many photos she has in total? Which diagram could you use to find how many photos she has in total? Which diagram could you use to find how many photos she has in total? Elliot couldn't wait to show off her most prized stickers that she had been keeping safe for just such a special occasion. She had two pages with 120 glitter stickers on each, and three pages with 100 scratch and sniff stickers each. Which diagram can help you find how many stickers she has in all? At the grand opening of her museum, she wanted to serve her guests a snack to munch on while they enjoyed the exhibits. She set out 450 carrot sticks. At the end of her opening night, there were 70 carrot sticks left. Which diagram could help you find how many carrot sticks were eaten? Which diagram could help you find how many carrot sticks were eaten? The end. Find the sentence that matches the picture. It is a can. It is a cane. Which sentence matches the picture? It is a pine. It is a pin. Which sentence matches the picture? The cake is in the tub. Find the sentence that matches the picture. I ride a vine. I ride a bike. Which sentence matches the picture? He has a cone. Thank <laughs> you.